everyone and welcome to Artifacto School YouTube channel. In today's video lesson, we would like to introduce to you a new instructor at our school, Reha Sakar. He is not only famous for watercolor, he is also famous for digital works. And um, I'm sure that uh, the TV shows, cartoons and movies he is working on, uh, many of you, most of you are familiar with. So, and in today's uh, video lesson, Reha is going to share with you the key rules, the key principles which you need to apply in your art in order to uh, deliver the story with your watercolor, in order to make it um, interesting for the viewer. Um, if you like this topic and you don't want to miss our next video lessons, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay in touch. And before we start, and we're going to start just in a second, I would like to invite you all to a free online workshop with Reha Sakar. Um, you can get registered for it by clicking on the uh, link in the right upper corner of this video and um, get registered. It's very simple as that, as that. We just need your name and your email address and you're going to get the link how to join this workshop absolutely for free. In this workshop, we're going to talk about um, composition as the way to do the storytelling in watercolor. Not only in watercolor, it actually applies to different mediums, yeah, whatever you paint with. Uh, we're going to talk about different uh, textures and techniques which will allow you to create various textures like scratching and many, many more. And we're going to talk also about detailization, yeah, how to not overdo your painting, how to, what is the right moment to stop. And that's all we're going to cover in this workshop. Also, you can um, find the active link in the description to this, um, to this video. Just uh, see the description, click on description, click on the link and get registered. We're going to be happy to see you on the workshop. So, and now I think we're ready to go. So, uh, meet Reha Sakar and learn about the key roles of watercolor, which every artist needs to know and needs to be aware of. So, let's go. So before I make my paintings, I do make some small value sketches. I either make them very small, very simple, or just do some watercolor sketches. These really help you a lot. Especially in watercolors, you need to know what you're doing. Before you touch the paper, 100% you should be sure where the light is going to be, where the dark is going to be, where your focal point is going to be. And if you don't know this and you start making the painting, it's not going to go well. In watercolor, you cannot lose the light. If you lose the light, you cannot bring it back. The white of the paper is the brightest you can get. No matter what you add on top, it's not going to have the same effect. Because watercolor leaves some marks. Unlike gouache, oil, your font, watercolor, like when you touch the paper, the surface of the paper and your, your calligraphy, everything just like leaves traces of a really nice quality painting. So don't forget, the paper is white, is the whitest you can get, the brightest you can get. If you lose it, it's gone. So when you're painting, try to leave the focal area white as possible. You can always come back and add stuff later, but if you cover it with a little bit darker tones, or maybe even darker tones, then you have to go much darker on the other side. So that's why it's a big mistake. Leaving them white or like bright as possible in the first wash and then slowly as you need, you can add on top. But you cannot do the opposite. Also, another important thing in watercolor is confidence. To get confidence, you have to practice a lot. You have to make a lot of paintings. You have to fail a lot of times. And then you can get more confidence because making sky is really hard. It's hard because there are a lot of things that's drying, it's, it's not wet enough, and you touch somewhere, you drop paint somewhere, you drop some water, and you're dealing with this part, and you forget this part, it dries, and you go back there and there, so they're both ruined. So that's why you need to do a lot of practice, a lot of practice, then you know what to do. And, and that confidence just shows in your artwork at the end. The watercolor always leaves marks. When you're painting, I can tell how much confidence you have just looking at your painting when you're done. You just don't want to go over and over some certain parts. You're dabbing, you're going over one more, like three to four more times. It's just going to ruin the painting. It's just one stroke you can do. It's the best you can ever get. So watercolor is really hard. So you need to do a lot of practice. 
The more you practice, the better you get. So, I hope you have written down the key rules, especially the ones you feel uh, yourself you have some problems with or troubling um, and so on. So, uh, and of course, as it is always said, practice makes perfect. So just try to apply it in your own paintings. And if you would like to do it under the guidance of Freha Sakar, join his free online workshop. Active link is here. Just click on it and get registered for this workshop. So I hope you like this video. Uh, do not forget, if you really like this video, do not forget to like it. It really motivates us and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And See you next time. Bye-bye.